Hello, I'm Kaden. Yeah, so today uh, we are going to do the review of this uh, ballroom electric grinder. So after the unbox, uh, last week I do the unbox and I have used it several times to make some brew coffee. So I do find out some pros and cons about this grinder. So today we are going to, I'm going to show you the grind size from espresso to pour to French press and then I'm going to make a brew and an espresso and to show you how this grinder perform yeah and also we are going to check the function which mentioned in the box like the, uh, reduce the static electric so let's see how overall perform so today the coffee we are going to use is a Vietnam Arabica wash which uh, we do cupping last week uh, roasted by thumb uh, is a um, medium light roast coffee so the profile uh, I think is quite suitable for pour over and also can make some bright espresso so what I'm going to do now is I will take a 5 gram of this coffee and I will try to do check the grind size so 5 gram so we are going to start to grind from uh, espresso. Yeah, um, you can see the coffee is still stick a little bit around, uh, but it's better than some of the grinder I used before, like the Brenza Encore. So the static condition compared to that uh, is slightly better. I think if we do some spray before grind, uh, it will reduce the static and stick around. So this is for espresso. So let's continue. For pour over. Because this uh, grinder, the motor is not so powerful. Uh, for some medium light roll spin, so I don't pour all the bean together. If not, uh, sometimes it will stuck and the motor will stop to run. Oops. So this is for pour over. And for French press. Yeah, so you can see this is for espresso, for pour over, for French press. I, uh, for my personal opinion, I think the marking from here, from the espresso to pour over, the gap is uh, not very far away, but from pour over to French press, you can see the particles are much coarser, um, a little bit too coarse than what I expect so I suggest if you make a uh, French press maybe you should go back uh, two step to three step and for the pour over I suggest you go further one to two step as well yeah but for espresso not bad 
can grind really fine for the espresso. Yeah, and pour over when French press. Okay, so let's check the grind retention for pour over coffee now. So I'm going to make uh, two grind. Uh, one grind, uh, we, I will spray water and the other grind I will not spray. So let's see, is that make any difference? I will grind 20 gram of coffee. Okay, 20.7. So we are going to grind without any spray now. There's some coffee stick here. Yeah. So mostly all the coffee stick here is the silver skin. And I will grind coffee here. The grind size looks quite even. Yeah, it's good. And what we have here is 19.8 gram. So it's lost about one gram if we are not spray any water on this. So let's make another one. So twenty point eight. and give it some spray um, let me clean this up first okay i just vacuum all the silver skin inside so yeah let's see see much better there's not much coffee stick after you spray some water so let's see how many grams of coffee we have here 21.6 uh, the grinder bring out all the coffee just now left over so uh, in this comparison uh, I would suggest like if you want to use this grinder as a single dose you can get a water spray like this and give a little bit spray before you use the grinder so it will grind everything out and much cleaner and less retention inside so we are going to brew with this coffee so today I'm going to use this filter so this is a filter also from Taisa uh, it's from the not neutral and this filter is called Gino uh, it looks very similar to Kalita wave and what I really like is the water flow come out from here yeah it's really nice and this filter is using the paper same as the December or Kalita wave So 
I will use the water temperature, 92 degrees. Let's prevent this paper and the vessel warming up the vessel first. Mm. This coffee uh, smell uh, really like an orange and yeah, quite strong almond and caramel. Yeah, it's really sweet. Flatten the bed, coffee bed. Yeah, let's do some pre infusion. So, 20 gram coffee, I will use about 50 gram of water for pre infusion. Start the timer. 2000 years later. Yeah, 2 minutes 20 seconds. Let's taste the coffee. Yeah, from here, you can see the grind after brew. Yeah, uh, this grinder, of course, it will still have some fine, but uh, from the brewing condition, it looks okay. It looks fine for home brew. Uh, it's not make a big deal and sometimes the fines uh, doesn't mean it's made the coffee really bad Sometimes you have a little bit of fine it will like uh, make your coffee more complex Yeah, the coffee have a medium high body and it's really clean and I have a very strong caramel and dark chocolate finish so let's brew espresso with this then let's see how is the grind size is this grinder can handle the grind size for the espresso okay so for the espresso we will use 16 gram because uh, the machine behind me the Delacote Mina the basket is a 16 gram so uh, this is also my first attempt to use this grinder for espresso so let's give it a try When this coffee get a little bit warm, the um, orange flavor is show up and it's following by the caramel and dark chocolate. And overall, I can say the flavor is quite clean. Yeah, I think this grinder is quite good for pour over. So the same, I will spray. And change to the espresso grind size. And this time I want to try to dose directly to this uh, dosing cup. It's more easy for me to distribute coffee to the bottom filter. Yep. Quite fast. Okay, so all the coffee is here. And yeah, let's go to make espresso. Yep, so let's dose the coffee. Yeah, give it a balanced distribution. Yeah. 
and temping. Yep, you can see this. So let's brew. It's a little bit fast, but it's okay. So let's get more. So I brew to 45 gram of coffee in about 18 to 19 seconds. Yeah, yeah it's creamy. Um, orange flavor, yeah, really, very clear orange flavor, following by caramel, and the finish a little bit like dark chocolate, and really clean. The flavor is clear and clean. I think this grinder can fulfill your requirement for all kind of a home espresso machine, uh, as well as the flare or staresso or nano presso. Yeah, if you have all this uh, equipment or tools at home, this grinder can fulfill the grind size you want. But for the machine like here, like Mina, yeah, maybe I would like to have more margin, more gap for the grind size. Yeah, so this is for me, uh, the grind size margin is not enough for me to play. But for a home user, I think it's enough for you. Yeah. Okay, so what I really like about this grinder is the very solid aluminium body with the stainless steel burr. Also, it comes with a very nice uh, glass coffee ground holder. And what I don't like about this grinder is the motor. So the motor is not strong enough for me to grind light roast bean like a Kenya light roast. If you are a light roast, coffee drinker maybe this grinder is not suitable for you and the other thing I don't like about this grinder is the espresso grind size so the espresso grind size margin is really narrow uh, it's only suitable for all kind of home machine like a Breville espresso machine DeLonghi all kind of a hand uh, manual espresso maker but it's not enough for a prosumer espresso machine yeah, so this is my opinion about this grinder. Thank you for watching this review. If you like my video, please subscribe my channel and I will have more video coming up in the future. Please subscribe and like. I will see you next time.